What up YouTube, it's your boy TJ Wilson. So, I was having some trouble with my SD card and I didn't realize it until I went up to Bayfield in Godrich during the week, uh, two weeks ago. So yeah, didn't get no footage but there was no fish so you guys didn't really miss much. But uh, last weekend, I went up, had a trip with my brother, my dad, and my boss and we went up to Southampton and we went to Owen Sound. We fished a few of the tributaries up there and I hooked into a couple fish. So did my brother. My brother hooked into a really nice one but I got wrapped up around a tree. All in all it was a pretty fun trip but we just lost all the fish we had. Like it was such an L. But I'm going to be going up tomorrow after class to some Lake Ontario tributaries and I know for a fact that this fish up there have been hearing good reports. So you guys will see that video next week. But this video I'm going to do something different. I'm going to show you the gear that I've been using because a lot of people are asking me like yo what are you using to catch these fish and I'm relatively new to fly fishing but I'll try and explain to you what I've been doing and the setups that I have and if you want to fly fish too and you want to try fishing for salmon it's a lot of fun and you should try it out. Alright, so first I'm going to start off and explain my rod setup. Right here is a Cabela Bighorn. Uh, I think it's an 8 weight. And it has a disc brake drag system. I think that's what it's called. And normally I run a 7 foot leader. Well, it really depends on how deep the hole I'm fishing. If it's super deep, then I'll run a longer leader or vice versa. But with the rod, I wouldn't recommend using a rod anything less than a 10 weight if you're just a beginner. Like I'm a beginner and I've had a cup of, I've had difficulty fishing with the A way rod, just fighting fish and such. And like it takes me a while to land them, but I think it's a lot of fun and I had this rod for a while, so I'm not really going to get rid of it. So, okay, I'll go to the flies that I use. Mostly I'll toss these streamers and I'll either fish closer to the surface or I'll fish or I'll jig closer to the bottom. And normally I can get the fish to come up to the top and strike but sometimes they'll sit like near the bottom so I'll throw some of these, uh, these cone heads here. I just picked these cone heads up in London and they look really nice. See, there's some really great colors. I've always done really good with these purple colors. For some reason, the salmon love that purple. Egg sucking leech pattern, they're also like, you need to have these in your fly fishing arsenal if you're going for salmon and trout. When I first started fishing, I would use a lot of these generic Canadian tire woolly buggers. And yeah, if you can see, and as you can see, the hooks are pretty bent out of shape. I caught a, I hooked into a few salmon on this and I think I'm just gonna throw that out. Got some streamers from Canadian tire. I need to learn to tie my own flies, so. I don't have to keep buying them all the time. I've also picked up these yarn eggs from Bath Pro Shops. I've heard good things about them, but I don't really know how to fish them. So if you know how to fish them, leave a comment below and just fill me in. I'm relatively new to fly fishing. Like I've only been fishing for the last couple of years with the fly rod for salmon. So I'm still relatively new because people are telling me different techniques and different ways to fish and there's, there's a lot to like every day every time I go out I'm learning something new so yeah I don't know I've heard good things about these but I guess I'll just have to give them a try and find out so yeah that's pretty much it for my fly fishing gear also have like this waste bag I got for Christmas but yeah that's pretty much it 
So yeah, I'm gonna go tomorrow and you'll probably see this video next week. So uh, I'll let you guys know if I caught anything. I'll probably comment in the description or something if I caught something tomorrow or not, but you'll see. So tight lines and see you guys next time.